Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on converting units of capacity by multiplying. Now capacity is similar to volume but the example we might talk about the capacity of a vase so how much space could you fill inside the vase and there's just a couple of conversions you need to know for this video if you had one litre that is equal to a thousand millilitres the M stands for milli a milli means a thousandth of, so one milliliter is a thousandth of a liter, and similarly, one liter is a thousand milliliters. And we've also got another unit. We've got that one liter is equal to a hundred centimeters. Now, if you think about um, centimeters, one meter is a hundred centimeters, and one centimeter is a hundredth of a meter. So, centi means a hundredth of. Now, if you can combine these two units together, you end up that one centiliter is equal to 10 millilitres. But centiliters is not a very frequently used unit. You're used to probably seeing millilitres and litres. So let's use these conversions for these problems here. We want 6.35 litres and we want to convert that to millilitres. Now we're going from litres to millilitres. So let's look here, litres to millilitres. You can see the number's getting a thousand times bigger. So always check whether your number should be getting bigger or should be getting smaller when you convert between units. We're timesing by a thousand. So if we times this by a thousand, then we move the decimal point three places because there's three zeros, so one, two to get to 635, and then we have to add a zero on the end. So it'd be 6350 millilitres. And if you think about it, if one litre is 1,000 millilitres, then six litres would be 6,000 millilitres. So 6.35 is going to be a bit more than 6,000 millilitres. What about B? We've got 0.4 litres. And again, we need to times by 1,000 to get to millilitres. Now, if I just put the four here and put the decimal point just before, then we need to move the decimal point three times because we're timesing by a thousand, three zeros, one, two, three. So the decimal point is now at the end and we fill in the gaps with zeros. So we can see it's 400 millilitres. And instinctively, if one litre is a thousand millilitres, then 0.4 litres, because 0.4 is less than one litre, we know the answer is going to be less than a thousand millilitres. So we should have a sense of what kind of answer we expect. Now finally, four centiliters, we're converting to milliliters. So to get from centiliters to milliliters, you can see the answer is getting 10 times bigger. So we just need to times by 10, and that gives us 40 milliliters.